sure not to drop anything. <laughs> There's the pills. You can see water down there. Right about 80 inches is the center of that pitless adapter. Yeah, I think it's picking it up. Um, hard to see. The reflection down there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the water. I'll drop a pebble in and hear it. No, because that will. It's just one pebble here. Get my. That's too big. No, it's not. Listen for it. <laughs> it sounds like a gunshot. <laughs> so that orange strain relief rope. Uh, when it's lowered in here, it's going to need a place to be anchored. So I've got this eye bolt here. I'm going to nip about that much off the end. I'm going to cut that so that I can wrap the rope inside of it. And then I'm going to hang it uh, inside the well casing, oh, about that far down, so that I could just reach in and grab it. Um, and then that way, the strain relief will stay out of the sun, uh, the rope, where it won't get rotten, and then it will support the well. Uh, pump and uh, hose and everything and uh, It'll just be a handy way to reach in and get it uh, If ever we need to do some service on the well, so I'm gonna drill that hole now. I'll graduate up to a little larger bit This makes things easier on the drill Now, gotta cut that piece right there. And that little bit of metal cutting was just brought to you by Buzz, the mobile solar generator. Uh, if you are not familiar with our channel, we built a mobile solar generator, trailer mounted with six solar panels that has enough power to power a three bedroom house. We've used it for welding and all sorts of things. This just took a moment, just plugged in a grinder with a cutting wheel into the plug on Buzz. Uh, Buzz is quietly, you know, producing electricity from the sun. Oh, just about 50, 60 yards behind us here. And uh, this is just the first of many, many things that Buzz is going to help us do in developing our land here. So, so I'll put a nut on first, then uh, a couple of washers. Okay, that's ready to go. We'll set it in here. Bring it through. Like that. Making sure that our hook is facing upward. And then while holding it, <laughs> just want to make sure it doesn't fall into the well. A couple more washers and two nuts to make sure that we hold it well and it doesn't come loose, stuff like that. The second nut will act as what we call a jam nut. To jam the other one into place, make sure it didn't go anywhere. Well, I tell you, working in a well, I think I need, I think I should have all of my tools tight, and there just went the nut. <laughs> I was just about to say, I think I should have everything tied to me so that it doesn't fall in the well. Well, I just lost the nut in the well, so I need to go get another one. Be right back. <laughs> Looking good. There we go.
Okay, so the pitless adapter, we hook a, a long piece of uh, galvanized pipe to it to help lower it and set it inside the well where these pieces made. It makes it easier to do. And then what you can do is you can either leave the pipe there, cut it flush with the top of the well, or you could actually unscrew it and um, leave it to where unless somebody has a piece of threaded galvanized pipe they can't steal your pump because it'll you'll need this to be able to lift it up out of there um, with all the other stuff attached to it so I think we'll lower it and then unscrew it and take it out since we've had trouble with theft so I removed the galvanized pipe that I used to set So I've got a new pressure tank installed to replace the one that was stolen. This is the well control switch, pressure switch. And uh, so before I can, because this is, uh, this blue line goes into the floor and out, out that way toward the well, um, because it's hooked up to the well, uh, when I power up the well, this is going to fill, you know, begin filling with uh with water and i don't really want it to do that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to cap off that end over there i'm going to go ahead and finish the temporary piping i need to go up to the sink um and then i'm going to cap it off and then i'm going to hook a hose to this so that the water doesn't even flow into the system it comes right out through this hose bib and outside I want, we want to make sure we drain you know run the well for a good few hours and um clean it out real well of all silt and things like that before we uh, begin to uh, you know pump water into this system here so okay moment of truth here we've got 115 volts coming in from buzz that goes to this transfer switch this is a flex transfer switch which allows either dc power from the uh, solar panels uh, or uh, electricity from buzz and then it powers, of course, the, the pump controller over here. All right. Powers on to the transfer switch. You ready? Four kilowatts, six kilowatts. Ten. Okay. Come on. All right. Water coming out of the hose. Well water, here we go, good job. Let's check the front. Hey, hey, Robert, come here. Come look at this. Oh, it's just dripping. It should be bypassing all that and coming out here. And look, now the water's getting cleaner. It had some initial muck. Nice. Okay. You have well water, Robber. I, oh, I'm happy until I'm afraid it's just going to stop working because we run out of whatever's in the pole. Oh, you mean run out of water in the well? In the pole. In the well. In the well. Whatever's shaft. up the pole. Yeah. Oh, don't worry. Should be plenty of water. In fact, we can test that. Uh, we can get a five gallon bucket and time it, see how long it takes to fill one. And then that'll tell us how many gallons per minute this thing will pump. We just let this run, run and run and run for several hours and clean out the water. Uh, so nice to have running water out here. No more trips to the spring. That's where we plan on planting a garden right here in front of Buzz. So Robert moved the hose over here.